everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 19 and 20 of <coughs> excuse me my December documented so today I am going to be working with a full-size um, pocket page and I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out and um, so you don't have the glare oh and if you watched my video yesterday and you watched me go insane knowing that there was some a stamp in one of my stickers. I found it. It's in Vicky Booten. I wasn't going insane. So I just had to share that with you guys. I was like, I know there is a stamp sticker somewhere in something that I've seen. So yeah, that was in there. So today um, I'm going to be scrapbooking a couple pictures of my grandkids. Now, because we have the new baby and Everett's mom is really good about sending me pictures. It's starting to feel like my album has become the book of Everett. And so I want to kind of remedy that a little bit and get the other kids into the album. So I have here two um, six by eight photos that I printed out. Um, this one is of Preston. He lost his two front teeth. So we're going to document um, that. I think this is going to be day 20. And then day 19 is a picture of all three boys. And this was a picture of them um, in front of the Christmas tree at church. And as you can see, um, Preston's tooth is just hanging on. So I thought it'd be cute to get those documented. So let's go ahead and cut them out. Um, as you can see, I um, have been printing them using the print -a size app, um, using my Canon printer, and the photo paper is the Epson photo paper, and I'm really loving how this they are turning out. Um, I had tried printing in the past using my home printer, and I don't know if it was the printer or if it was the paper that I was using. Either way, um, I wasn't real happy with the quality of them, so I just never had tried it. And then I'd started using my um, Epson PM400, which does the smaller ones, and those pictures turn out beautiful. Totally love that printer, and um, have almost thought of, my sister even thought about it, getting a um, second one as a spare, as a backup. But um, last year for Christmas, I had bought myself, <coughs> um, I forget what the number is, it's like a T something. It's the Canon wide format printer. Um, Sarah Scraps had recommended it. That's the one she has and uses on her channel. Um, and the reason I got that over the Epson was because it had, um, the ability to be an all-in-one printer with a scanner and printer. And so for me, that's, um, I think, more conducive to what I need in my home life. And I have just a, a small HP all-in-one that I've been using. And I actually still use it for some scanning and stuff. Um, but eventually when that one um, bites the dust, um, I'll, you know, no longer use it and will strictly use the, um, Canon. Um, the other thing I like about the Canon is it is Bluetooth, so I don't have to be wired to it and I can print from my phone, from any of my computers, and it's just been very convenient. Well, I tried, finally tried playing with it. Um, I had printed, you know, like the... Um, paper collections from Vicki Booten and other, um, you know, digital collections, 49 and Market and that stuff, and had really liked how um, the 12 by 12 paper printed, but I had not tried the photo paper in it. And so with this project I did, and I absolutely, the quality to me is just like printing on the Epson. I am using the Epson paper, which I think makes a big difference as well. So, um, anyway, enough of that. Now, I'm thinking I might take a quarter inch off 
because I do have a little room and maybe mat these. I haven't done that yet on any of them. So I'm thinking maybe if I can take um, a little bit off of each side. I don't want to take too much off of the guys. And take a little from the tree. I'm just taking like an eighth of an inch off of the each of the sides for now. Let's see if we can get a small border going. Actually, it's a quarter. Eh. Let's see what we've got. And I have my Vicky boot and paper pad, so let me grab that real quick. I also have this one that I haven't used yet. Let's try using the park lane. Give it some love. Okay, I kind of like that. Let's find one more for the other side. Should we go green on the other side? He's wearing blue. This is from Christmas Day uh, or Christmas Eve Day. And um, although um, it's Christmas Eve Day, I'm still okay with using it for a different story. Oh, you know what? Uh -huh. I wonder how this works. Okay, I like, kind of like the plaid. And actually, I like both sides. So let me get rid of the red. Let's see if we can do both sides. Okay. I do need to trim this down to be the same size photo on each side. So I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah, I'm just going to take an eighth off of each side like I did with the other one. I think for the one of um, Preston with his tooth, I'm going to go with the traditional, all, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. And I did pull out um, a sticker sheet with letters on it that I think I can use. All right, this one needs to be trimmed down just a tad more. See if this did the trick. Uh, yep, pretty close. Now I just need to make sure that I actually there's no pat there's no pattern, which is one of the things I want to make sure. So I'm just going to take a pencil. And mark, and I'm just coming in just a little bit so there's a little bit of room so I can slide it into the sleeve. And then same thing for this one. I'm just going to bring it in just a tad 
so that there's enough room to slide it. So the nice thing about this is that with it being double-sided paper, I'm able to use one piece of paper for both pages. So we'll go ahead and it's perfect border. So let me go ahead and adhere this down. All right, and then on the back side, or the which will be the front side, is going to be this picture of all the boys together. And it's just light greenery. All right, so. Just do this and just have season's greeting and the number because it really isn't anything that's going to need a story. So just giving it a little title and then a number. Um, we can use these numbers. And let's go with the green. It's going to be number 19. We can put the 9. And the 1. And it's just going to nestle right here in that little section. Right there. Now the other thing I could do is put a little... Um, label and put the kids ages and maybe another little sticker at the bottom think we want to cover up Carter's little kitty cat so I'm going to come over to the side there and I can trim off the rest I'll save that little piece and so now all we have to do is write their Names and ages. So we've got Dylan, nine, Preston, seven, and Carter, three. That's cute. So we got the number on there, their names, season greetings, simple. That's all we need. This one's gonna get a little bit more, and I think I'm gonna use, um, I got a ruler here. And we're gonna spell out, um, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. And I think I'm gonna do all I want for Christmas across the top is my two front teeth on the bottom. And then find a place to put the number Now I did think about putting Santa Claus on here, 
but I think that's going to cover him up too much. I might be able to find a smaller one, but let's start with the title and then we can find out what we want from there. So I'm just taking, oh, I made it stand. I'm just placing the letters on the ruler and that way I can, and I'm trying to use the ruler to line them up as well. So then all I have to do is push them down onto the picture and they should stick. And These are Bella Boulevard stickers that I've had for a while. So it's nice to get some of them onto a layout. I think I got these um, probably at Scrapbook Expo. Uh, they used to sell, um, they used to have a booth there and they'd have a grab bag. And every year I would pick it up and you, Sometimes you got some eh stuff, but for the most part, I got a lot of nice stuff from um, Bella Boulevard in their mystery bag. And I want to say it was like $50 and it was ch chocked full of stuff. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is make sure this will fit with the word Christmas. I'm thinking it's not. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put Christmas on a separate line. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's not going to fit. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put this to the top here. And I know my W is not straight, so let me straighten that one. Okay, these I can push down. These I can push down. The T needs to get straightened out a little. Oops. Okay, my little F was not quite perfect, but that's okay. Got the general idea. Let me see if I can get it off. There, I was able to straighten it at least. And make sure those are pushed down really good and they're not gonna move. And now we're gonna go Christmas. So same thing, we're just gonna line them up on top here. But I wanna do Christmas in green. You may hear it, but I set my Alexa alarm for um, 25 minutes. So hopefully I will get this done before I have to go back on to my lunch uh, for my lunch hour. So if you hear that go off, then I'm going to have to put you on pause and come back. Let's see if we can speed things up here.
This is the little futsy part when you're doing the letters, but it does make a difference when you do the title on there. I'm, I'm always guilty of not. Okay, so Christmas is going to go over my head, but that's okay. I'm more worried about him. And so push that down. So we have all I want for Christmas. And then we'll do is my and then two front teeth. So I think I'm going to start at the bottom and do two front teeth in green. And then I can do the um, is my above it. Okay, front. And the nice thing is, I'm starting with an alpha sticker sheet that hadn't been used yet, so I should be able to get through this big title and have all the letters. Makes me feel good when I get something out of my stash that I haven't used yet and I've had it for years. I mean, I haven't gone to Scrapbook Expo since probably 2017 or 18. So, or maybe it was 18. Okay, we are going to be short. A T. So I think what I want to do is put teeth in red, and that way I know I'll have enough letters. So we're just kind of pivoting a little bit here. I think teeth needs to get okay my alarm is going off Alexa end alright so I got my five minute mark here of logging back into work so I might have a minute to get this done here All right, let's just line it up. And then I think I'm gonna move these because they were just kind of messing with me here. Two. Front. And then teeth. Now we need is my. And I think we'll do that in red. And that we can wing as far as spacing. I think I can eye it since it's just four letters. Okay. 
Now, I wonder if I put the Santa, nope, Santa would cover my face up too. So I need something, a Santa that would be a little bit smaller that I could put on either side. And let's see, in the sticker books. And I want something I think more bright. So we have like this one here. He's a little big. Okay, he's a good size. And then maybe we can find a little present. Because to me it's like he's asking for his present to be his two front teeth. All right, I think that's cute. And a little sticker that says Santa. All right, I think we're gonna call this one done. Oh, you know what, we need a, um, a number. Um, let's find, and maybe I can put the number on top of the present. Let's do two O oh here. There we go. It fits right on top of the present. Perfect. So num day twenty. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. And then I got the boys in the book a little bit more because they were kind of lacking in the book. And I do like to try and keep it a little even between all the kids. So now I put day number 19 in the front. And day number 20 in the back. And where did I put my book? It got buried. So right after our wrapping paper and our Christmas card page, we'll then have number 19, which is the boys, and moving on to page 20, which is uh, Preston needing his two front teeth. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I should be back again tomorrow with day number 21 and 22. Um, we're getting down to the wire and getting this all wrapped up. Like I said, my intention is to try and get this all done by the end of the month. So we might have one day where we have um, three because um, I think I'm like one extra day. And Christmas really didn't have much on it. So we'll see what we can find for Christmas Day. Thank you so much. You all have a great day and I'll see you again on my channel. Bye-bye.